All right, so from the previous video, I mentioned that I would be live Sunday, but that actually didn't happen because I didn't get a lot of views or a lot of questions with this last video. If you don't know what video I'm talking about, check it out right here. And um, I encouraged people to actually give me any questions or anything that they wanted to talk about. And um, I didn't get much, so it doesn't matter. I was still able to do a live with uh, the group that's in the Group Me app. If you are not uh, a part of the group, the community, it's free to you. Check the link down below. Um, you get a lot of encouragement. You get a lot of help coaching, not just from me, but from each other. It's a great platform that I created so that we can all support each other. So we're all going for the exact same goal and it's just to have a better quality of life. So I wanted you guys to actually hear, so it's kind of a podcast style, so you won't see their faces because I'm protecting people. <laughs> I'm all over social media, so it's fine with me. But um, yeah, uh, just, just, yeah, listen to the next clip. I made it in. We're gonna have a lot, of, well, it looks like it's gonna be a lot of people coming in. Um, I don't have anything really special, <laughs> but I do want to uh, chime in again with everybody. So let me give everybody a couple of seconds again. There's so much you can do with this thing. Whoa. <laughs> Some of you are on your phone or on your computer. Is it easier on your phone or computer? Phone. 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 Oh. Um. Seems like it's easier. Hi, Miss Coco. Hey, I'm fine. Hey, <laughs> hey. Some names I remember from a couple of years ago, actually. I was like, hey. <laughs> hey, Miss V. Hey, yeah, I love your haircut. It looks good on you. Yeah, it does. I was, you, I was getting close. I was about to grab mine and cut it. I was like, wait, wait, let me. No, I did grab mine and cut it. I, I, I was an emotional wreck when I did. Oh, did you want yeah. to or you didn't? Okay, okay. Yeah, made it look like a no, I was the days that I wasn't posting, I had a nervous breakdown. Oh. Yeah. It looks really good. You did a good job. No, I like it. Yeah, you did a good job. I'm, I'm shocked that I did because I came real close to going bald. <laughs> well, if you have if anybody has their TV on in the background because it's kind of hard. Like, well, are here. It's not gonna be long. I just need to chime in because there's a lot of new faces and a new a lot of new people in the So hey Nikki, hey Michelle. I know Michelle's like I ain't, you ain't about to hear me right now. <laughs> Charlene, good to see you. I know Coco got her volume off again. I know she's like, I hey Charlene, how you been doing? So, I'm, I'm honestly, um, didn't have anything planned today. I just needed to chime in and see how everybody's doing. First of all, you guys are amazing on this group. I'm like, I don't even know what, should I say something? Like what? And then y'all just like encourage each other. So that was the goal. And it's so, it's so nice to see that. Okay. I'm about to start crying. It's so nice to see that happening. Don't cry because you're going to make me mess them up. I know. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't see. <laughs> we don't get that. No. No, we don't. We don't get that. Um, I've been busy for the past couple of weeks, and it's actually been me out researching and being amongst women and especially black women and how we treat each other mm -hmm. and i'm like man y'all suck because my group over here on group they own it with each other they're like hey i need some help hey i'm mad today like oh i went bike riding zumba all kinds of things is going on 
and you guys are very encouraging towards each other. And that was my goal for creating this group. And I so thank you guys for doing that because it encouraged me too, even though I don't chime in as much. I was like, whoa, these women are successful here. <laughs> They're going to be very successful. So how has things been going for you guys? I know it's been going good, but is there anything else that you guys need from me? Because I got a couple of videos I got to get up on the uh, YouTube channel, so I have to share it with you. Is there anything specific that you need from me? You got questions, or is just continuing this whole consistency and encouraging each other thing working for you? Yes, the encouraging yeah. each other every day. And I'll be honest, I haven't been meal prepping, but I've been making right choices. Like today, we did a spaghetti drive for the homeless. Everybody out there that's helping, they eating spaghetti. It's like, now she's going to eat something. I said, no, I can't have no pasta. So now I'm eating, I came home, now I'm eating my ground turkey stir fry that I made. That Tropical yeah. Smoothie Cafe, guys, is amazing. They have the most healthy food, good choices. So if you're not able to meal prep, fine. I, I'm finishing up that video because I don't really eat out a lot. I'm trying to finish the video up of places you can go. When you don't have time to meal prep, reality is we sometimes just don't have time. Mm -hmm. You either run a business or you run a family. <laughs> you do or you do both. So mm -hmm. you don't have time for yourself. So I'm finishing up that. But Tropical Smoothie Cafe, if it's in your area, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Anything else that you guys need from me? What would you need? I know I missed yesterday. Fridays, I try to do the Fitness Friday thing like you asked me anything and I can answer the questions, but you guys are doing a good job by yourself, to be honest. <laughs> anything else that you guys need from me? I'm more, I'm more concerned about what you need from me. If there's more, I, I would ask that if you have other, um, I know you always refer us to like different videos to go to, just putting more resources out there for some people, because some people don't have the opportunity to make it to the gym. So, and if you put it out there, then people are like, oh, okay, I'm going to try it. And I've seen that on our group where people grab something somebody else has done and then they try it. So if you could just throw more things on there as you get to it. I, I refer back to your, your workouts as well, but some of your workouts are pretty extreme. Um, yeah, I was and things like that. that. Ooh, I don't know if I want to do my, because honestly, what, how I do things is more on the bodybuilding aspect. Yeah. And yeah. I'm just going to be honest. That's not real. That's not real life. It's a lot right. stricter and it just mm -hmm. has become my lifestyle now. Yeah. But when I started out, it didn't start out that way. So right. I'm trying to keep going with you guys. It's like, I have to keep going back. Like, Hey kid, you didn't start off that way. You started right. off normal. You lost weight pretty fast. Not from trying to do it as a bodybuilder. Right. So, um, okay. There was an app. I know I wanted to share with you guys. Um, it's called hit workout. So if I make sure I can get it, but you can see on my phone, it's that one right at the bottom. And okay. it looks like it's red with a heart on it. Mm -hmm. You should be able to find it on Android and your uh, iPhone. Cause I have both Android and an iPhone. Um, Baller. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm both. I, I've been an Android girl. <laughs> but this has Tabata, Hit, and, um, I think it's, is this hit 10 and hit 20? It doesn't have circuit training in there because that's a little bit different, but it has Tabata hit and hit 20. So 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and then Tabata is like, it's a shorter period of time. But when you go into one of them, it shows you what all of the exercises are going to be. If you're not sure how to perform it, you can actually see a video of it. Huh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, um, not to mention once you press start, you got your headphones on and you somewhere. Hey, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> what's that? Once you get started. So when you start the workout, you say, I'm ready. Get ready. Next step. So it goes Turn with your headphones place. or you can hear it on your phone. Mm -hmm. You know what's another good site, um, ladies? 
It's called Lumo Wells. It's an animated mm -hmm. um it's L U M O W E L L S exercise, but it's actually fun. Oh, okay, yeah, that's that's nice. I need to cut mine off. I need to cut it off. Okay. Can you can you spell that again, Miss V? L U M O mm -hmm. W E L L S. And it's on YouTube. What's okay. More well. And it counts down every all the exercises as well as that app, um, Nakia, as far as mm -hmm. how long you should be doing it. Do it yeah. Because, okay. uh, wait, I want to quit that one. So, yeah, there's apps, like, if you use your phone, especially if you feel so out of touch, you don't know exactly what to do if you go to the gym. I understand that. Some people are like, I don't know what the heck I should be doing. So, work out at home. <laughs> yeah also now that you mentioned that could you give like um if it's not too much like a basic way to get started like I used to have a trainer years ago but it's like you forget that stuff so it's like where to start if you're going to start with your biceps with your triceps with your shoulders so just like just the basics if you could okay so I know you got a lot going on heads up um, uh -huh. I already started a program. I already started to awesome. feel for it. Um, so I'm looking at, so I'm giving you guys heads up. Let's just give you heads up. Okay. The video is based off three exercises that you should be training when you're in the gym. This works for all body types. Okay. Our purpose is to change our physique or the way our body looks, not necessarily what the scale tells us. Right. A lot of people are getting success from the scale, and I think that's a good thing. But the ultimate goal is you want to see the results that you see. Yeah, that's not happening for me. It's giving me more weight, and it's because I'm weight training. So like I said, this is what's going to change your physique. So if you've seen the picture of my results after the two weeks, you see that I'm a lot tighter in my waistline. There's a back exercise, an ab exercise that you're going to be doing, and there's a glute exercise that gives you that hourglass appearance, and it helps you to lose that body fat off of your body in those areas. So it's not necessarily spot reducing fat, but it kind of is. Okay. So I actually taped it like seven times because I do that same workout so that you can see the different angles and how you should do it. And then I'm going to set it up on how you start. What weight should you start off with and how to progress up to it? So that video is supposed to be out Wednesday because Workout Wednesday is the easiest way to So I just finished recording the last bit of it this past Wednesday. So I'm going to set it up this Wednesday. So it's just giving you guys heads up. Like that kind of stuff I knew was going to be needed, um, especially because it's a lot of mesomorphs and endomorphs. Um, ectomorphs, their mm -hmm. job is do the same thing. They just got to lift heavier and less reps, uh, more sets. So, and it's got to be heavy. But um, if you want to change the way your body looks, I'm going to be talking about the difference in heavy, um, more sets, shorter reps or less reps, and the difference between going uh, like four sets, high reps, like up to 25 knowing what weight works for you because you have to be at that almost fatigue moment at the last three reps if that makes sense so yes. the video will be out so th that's what you asked that's the first one i think is good for beginners there's a back exercise you should do there's a waist exercise you should do and there's a glute leg lower body exercise it's only one exercise because we don't the more too much going on and mm -hmm. you'll be in that gym like I don't feel like it. So <laughs> if it's just <laughs> you got to do all it is. Yes, as long as it's only three things you got to deal with, you won't have to worry about it. Um, there are also exercises you can do at home. So I recorded it with me doing it at home without weights, and I recorded me doing it at the gym with weight and heavy and moderate weight. So yeah, I was on that one. So thanks, Lucy, okay. for asking for that. Um, is there anything else in the training or exercising aspect that you want? Because I know that's the first one that's going up. Anybody else? Let me know. Did you enjoy the last one, the last cardio one that I did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you were huffing after that one. <laughs> oh my God. Telling them to do this, and I don't want to do it. <laughs> but I've been doing the twenty-minute hit on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. Man, I was drenched in sweat. Yes. And somebody gonna say, "Why you put a bottle of water over your face?" I said, "Yeah, right." <laughs> <laughs> That's how <water> <laughs> <laughs> that's all you huh <laughs> all you. Um, intensity is what's going to get that body fat to come off so take your time you think that's bad i went to the gym thursday with some gray jogging pants on by the time i got off that treadmill it looked like i peed on myself <laughs> I was like, what just happened? So I was like, let me walk real slow to the, I was like, never go with gray pants on again. Because it was just all in that area. I was like, what happened? So yeah, it was I don't understand why I wear black to the gym all the time. <laughs> that was a lesson, lesson learned. I was like, I done peed my pants. <laughs> all times, because it's easier. You don't have to worry about people looking at your areas, your lady bits, because you sweating from there. So yeah, <laughs> you know what's the most was... part? Because you know what you said, right? Anything <laughs> else? I know no, this yeah. stuff is that I need to get out. Stuff you can say. Yeah, that is bad. <laughs> and I want to uh, share the video on the caloric deficit again. Okay, that's good. Because uh, it's time. So pictures are actually supposed to be due April thirtieth for some, for most of you because you started on the fifteenth. So it would be officially two weeks, April the 30th. So, have more pictures. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. This is an opportunity for you guys to see your progress. I know you okay. see me through the scale, but sometimes the scale will tell you you're doing something, but your body just don't look like it's doing anything. You, you can't tell, you can tell from the mirror, but sometimes you just need pictures to kind of give you that. Oh, okay. I see it. I can see where it is. Um, number one thing you guys need to know when you take your pictures and you turn them in April 30th, you know what number to send it to. I'll repeat this again on the YouTube as well because there's a lot of people who are not in the group but they're actually doing the same thing because I'm getting their comments through the YouTube page. But um, your body, pay attention to where you lose fat at first. So when you take these next set of pictures, I want you to compare it. And I'm going, to, I'm going to finish up my video on it and showing you. But I did mention to you guys that I know genetically, I'm predisposed genetically to lose body fat this way. So it's always from my face and my feet up. <laughs> it goes <laughs> way, and my waist waits. It waits. To, it's like, no, I'm going to hold on for a little bit longer. You're just going to have to deal with it. So pay attention to where you lose body fat at because everybody loses body fat in the first place differently. There are some people who will start to see it in their waistline uh, fairly quickly. I'm noticing that I see it in my waistline, but only in my obliques and my sides. But my front still sometimes look like it's still a little bit extended. So it might take some time for that. But when you take these set of pictures, pay attention to where you are pre-genetically disposed to lose weight at first. Once you know where that is, then it will make sense when I start training you guys on what you should do if your body loses fat in this area first. How do you get the part that you want to respond as quickly as the rest? How do you get it all to respond together? Because you can change your hormones. You can change your genetic coding. I mean, not like you can duplicate yourself, but it's what you do, the energy, the spirituality of different things. And I'm not speaking on a religious aspect. I'm just speaking on us as humans and how we were designed and created. If you pay attention to yourself, you're able to change the way those things are. Anxiety, stress, whatever you put into your mind, whatever you put into your body, it all has energy. You can change it up. There's a way to do it. So one, I'm gonna tell you, read your Bible because it tells you <laughs> exactly what to do. But if you can see it, now you'll know what to do to get what you want to respond. So mm -hmm. that's what we're gonna focus on for April 30th when you send me those pictures. 
I'm like, oh, now I know what I want to focus on when I teach how you can change your body and get it to get it to move the way you want it to. Make mm -hmm. sense? Yes. So, yeah. Yes. But how many people have lost like already five pounds? I lost six, but I gained mm -hmm. it back. <laughs> She's lying. <laughs> You did. No, because those two days I wasn't eating. Oh, you weren't eating? That's not a bad thing. That's still caloric deficit. Yeah. I <laughs> extreme. I, I was That's basically just drinking water. Deficit. I'm thinking about doing it again, doing a 24 hour uh, water fast. Water fast? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, May 1st will be a no carb, no sugar uh, week. Oh. Yeah. Once the pictures are in, I'm going to take May 1st through the 7th. This includes myself because I have to record it and train you guys and help everybody else with it. No sugar, no carbs, and see how your body responds. Okay. And then that will be the next set of pictures so you can see, like, from that seven-day period, how does carbs affect your body? So now you see where I'm going. Sugar is in everything, though. Yes, exactly. From bread. Uh, Okay, it. but you're you're not saying natural sugars though, because like carrots and things no, like that. No, I'm not saying natural okay, okay. sugars, because sugars. So you you're gonna have to do a vegetable fast, pretty much. Pretty much, pretty much. Uh, but yep. you'll be taking out certain carbs that are vegetables, like sweet potato, potatoes. Those are vegetables; they come from the ground. Okay. But when I when I talk to you guys about the no sugar, we already know that's mostly processed foods, drinks, and things yeah. like that. So sticking with water and only vegetables as your carbs, but that minuses out potatoes and sweet potatoes because those are active yeah. carbs. I'm talking about fibrous carbs. So this okay. is where I'm going into that change your body through your diet and your training. The only way you're going to know that is once you see your pictures, look at where you lose your body fat at, look where you see the change at. And then when we start this, one to seven days and no carb. Now you get to see how carbs actually affect your body. Got it. Might as well do the birdcage challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and blindfold your eyes, that's all. What? <laughs> you haven't seen that movie. <laughs> birdcage. I never watched it, but I... <laughs> So that's where we're going, learning how to change your body, adjust your body by what you put in and what you put out. So everybody understands they're exercising based off their body type. I discuss like what you should focus on first, whichever percentage you are the highest, focus on that. Um, if you're mesomorph highly, that switching up your cardio is going to help you in the long run. So I, Latrice, I noticed you switch up your cardio. You do Zumba one and something else. Like, what does she do? She's doing everything. So I, Man, I have to, though. But by the time I'm done, I feel like today, I'm dragging. I'm sore in so many places. And then I took the dogs with me, and I wish I would have left them at home because I was dragging them. And then they started dragging me. And I was like, let's just make it back, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh. So, if your body feels like it needs a rest, take a rest. Take a rest. I did my walk today, and I, I think I'll walk later as well, but as far as, like, any exercise, I'm just going to take the day, and then I'll go back to it tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay, cool. So, pictures April 30th. Got it. Um, pay attention to where you're losing it at, and then that gets us into the next step of the no carbs, no sugar, so you can see how it actually affects your body. So I'm kind of taking what we call bodybuilder methods and playing around to see how you can see how your body works. And then it makes it easier for you to figure out how you want to do your diet. I think everybody's pretty cool with their diet, right? Yes. Yeah. Everybody's pretty cool with their diet. Cool. Um, question. Mm-hmm. When can we start adding pasta? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Is great spaghetti squash zucchini squash that is pasta that is god's pasta everything we eat that is unfortunately processed came from originally the vegetables and stuff we should be eating in the first place so if you mm -hmm. love pasta 
have spaghetti squash, but have your favorite spaghetti sauce or I don't know what kind of sauces you like, but you can have that with spaghetti squash. Nakia, when I went to this birthday party, <laughs> It was at an Italian restaurant, authentic. Everybody around that table had my favorite. I'm just sitting there with a big old salad. And I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you have pasta. A fistful is enough. No, nah, that's a tease. <laughs> that's a tease. A <laughs> because keep in mind, we're still on this calories in versus calories out. So you need that caloric deficit. But if you are predominantly an endomorph, Sorry, pasta's not gonna work for you. I, know. I keep trying keto. You guys have no idea. I know you guys see the pictures on Instagram where I'm always having that avocado, avocado, but my body is like, would you please give me some carbs? I don't want this stupid avocado. I love avocado, but my body just don't want to respond to it. It's just like, no, you can't do keto. It sucks, but all of them work because the point is it's trying to get you to a caloric deficit so eat what you enjoy eating just keep in mind portion control all you got to do that that well, there's bacon there's it. bacon in there son it's ba- well i don't eat well <laughs> i don't eat meat i wish i could eat bacon but i don't eat meat now and that's me that's my personal thing i don't think anything's wrong with bacon I don't think anything's wrong with any of that stuff. I've been craving it lately, but I just, every time it sits in my face when I crave it, I don't, I don't even want to touch it. I eat everything else around it. So, but um, I just love avocados. So I can't have the whole thing. I got to have half of it. So you're basically a pescatarian. Um, I'm, I'm actually going. Cause you do the fish. Yeah, I do. no turkey or anything. But now I'm back to just eggs now. Okay. And a lot of vegetables. So you just switch it up. I play around and switch it up. Um, okay. I tell you guys the truth. I focus on I focus on portion control. That's all I really do. Yeah. yeah. That's all I really do. I stick with I, my diet. I think to most people probably looks like it's strict. It is. It probably is because what normal person <laughs> made me feel like I'm not normal? But what normal person just eat vegetables? That's it. Unless they're a vegan. And usually vegans and vegetarians, they got all of these different like varieties, varieties yeah. and dishes. And I'm like, no, I'd rather eat the same thing because I don't want to have to guess or go on my phone and type in how much. I don't want to do that. So I know what I'm willing to do and what I'm willing to not do. So if you know what you're willing and willing not to do, you'll know how to adjust it to fit your style. So Viv, mm-hmm. you want some pasta? You got a fist uh, size? No. no. Okay, cool. Then the salad is good, and you have your spaghetti squash. Yes. <laughs> you can eat tons of that. You'd be fine. Yeah, y'all know when I sent y'all that picture of the spaghetti squash? Mm-hmm. I only ate one of them. Because <laughs> they make and you I cut, cool. I cut in four. I only ate one. I just threw the rest of it away. Oh, Lord. I'm, be- I'm a very picky eater. Oh, that's the same thing. Yeah, mm. so endomorphs can be picky. Because I was about to ask you, how, um, you don't get burnt out on AIDS? Uh, no. There's bacon in there. Oh, that's right. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody keep going back to bacon. <laughs> you know what? I might need to listen. <laughs> because I probably need to listen to what she's saying. Like, put some bacon mm-hmm. back in your diet. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I don't get burnt out on eggs. I got burnt out on chicken very quickly. So I yeah, okay. tried to bring that back and I was like, I can't even do it. It's me. Don't think that it's something you have to do because I don't want people to, to follow exactly what I'm doing. I want you to follow how I'm paying attention to myself. Pay attention to yourself and say, oh, I'm willing to do that. I'm not willing to do that and make it work for you. That's what I wanted to happen for you, but... Okay. Yeah, I have a on eggs. I got one thing to say. Ladies, if you can, go in the frozen section of your um, grocery store. They call veggie types. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh, oh yes. Those things are the bomb. I know what you're talking about. By <laughs> Green Giants. The sweet potatoes and the cauliflower. Oh, yep. no. oh my goodness. I said, oh. veggie types. They are good. Yep, by Green Giant. Yes. 
because there's a lot yeah. of vegan and vegetarian options that are out there right now. So when I say good, good. Yeah, they are. They are. You're right. You're right. And you know, I haven't even had those things for like almost a year. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> I wrote it down. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually really good. You can't tell the difference. Put some ketchup. Well, yeah. no ketchup because it's shook. Well, yeah. oh, that's man. not till May 1st. Don't oh, okay, put ketchup on it. Miss V getting, she getting started already. Look. <laughs> Couple more days. Go get you a cup. Go get your bag. Get some ketchup with it. Yeah, I'm going today because today is cheap meal day, so I can have some ketchup. I love ketchup and honey mustard. So, um, thanks for bringing that up. Do please be careful with condiments. <laughs> I know, especially with honey, because it's sixty, what sixty calories per serving. Mm hmm. And if you're a tea drinker like me, yes. you know tea, um, honey is the most natural sweetener you can go for. A lot of people aren't going to just drink tea without a sweetener. So, um, if you want uh, zero calorie, I'm one of them. Yeah, if you want something zero calorie, there I'm are black everything is out there. But if you feel kind of funny with the whole, like I don't know what this stuff really is, then just stick with honey. Just be very careful. Pay attention that that's a part of your calorie intake. Yeah. So keep that in mind. So if you just eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and you got honey in there with your teas because you drink tea a lot, you should be fine. But when you get up into them high proteins and foods that are higher, like avocados that are higher on the caloric uh, density, now you have to pay attention to the, how much honey you're putting into your diet because that's a lot for one tablespoon, I think. Is it one or two? I do one. I think it's... I think it's one, but yeah, I, I do everything black, so I don't know. So yeah. oh, so it's for one tablespoon, I think it's 60, 60 calories for one tablespoon. That's yep. a lot, especially if you drink like three or four teas a day. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah be And bagel tea, bagel spice tea is pretty good too. Bagel spice tea. And, and bagel Good tea. Earth, Good Earth has good one earth too. Really good too. Good Earth yeah. is amazing though. Um, Every now and then I'll use agave nectar, but I, it's something of, I've learned from Dr. Eric Berg. If you guys know, I follow after him and some of his coaching and stuff, I've been under, been trained under him. Um, he was mentioning something about it being very close to um, high fructose corn syrup as far as oh, the, wow. yeah. So wow. I said, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep that out of my diet for a little while. Have you ever had um, monk fruit? No. Oh. Huh. No, is that wait, huh? I'm about to show it to you. Does it look oh, like a benefit? fuzzy little fuzzy little watermelon? Mm -mm. Hold on, I'm about to search my camera. Because somebody mentioned Huh. Monk fruit sweet. Where'd you get that from? No. See? See what happens? Oh. <laughs> Where'd it come from? I got it for I got it on Amazon. Oh. But I was told to try that or to try this. Yeah, it's called the Gavi Five, but I like the monk fruit better uh -huh. than this. Okay. Is, that, is, is it a funny aftertaste with that agave one? The agave? No, it's not an after. This it, it's not bad. It's okay. low in glycemic sweetener. And it's only five small little calories. Okay. And it's organic. So I'll show you that one again. Okay. Yeah, because it's organic. So five cal. Yeah, I like to hear the five calories because I'm like, this honey, the closest I can get for something natural. Yeah. But one fruit sweetener, that sounds natural to me. It say fruit in it. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> and veggie tots. I'll put them together. all right then guys i think that that's that's it so yeah i just want to say good job guys keep it up stay motivated um 
If you guys need me to respond a lot more, I usually scroll through a lot because I'm looking for questions. A lot of times that's what I'm looking for because I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta get on this. But then some of you will ask stuff and somebody will already know what to say or like, hey, try this or have you seen this? So that's good um, that you're encouraging each other. So I'm um, bring back to Fridays, the Fitness Fridays is when I ask the question, I have you guys ask me a question and I respond to it in this format, in video format into um, the GroupMe app. How do you guys feel about the app? Does it work for you? <laughs> Yes. I know everybody's yes. on different time frames. Some of you are three hours behind, maybe an hour behind me. So, so it's inspirational. It, it really is. And it is. when I was going through my moment and I still saw the ladies post and it made me smile and I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. I said, Vanessa, snap out of it, get your butt up and get moving. <laughs> yep. I know it got me. I was like, all it, I was in uh, Tango class reading your stuff. I was supposed to be dancing. I'm in here reading. Like, what they doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I couldn't be showing them where I'm at. I'm too busy being nosy with them. <laughs> but Tony, yeah. can you um, take a picture and put that in the um, group chat of both of those? Of which one? Right. Oh, the, yeah, Shelly will do and, that. Uh, okay, yep. I yeah, see you, Nikki, up on the, on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. And then there's a video I'm going to share shortly. <laughs> about the club. Hey, Nikki, she on the treadmill. You're done. <laughs> there's a video hey. I'm going to about the work deficit, okay? Um, I think Latrice and who else? Coco might have seen it already. It was a live that I did months ago where I was teaching you how to find out your BMR. And then how to know what your maintenance number, your caloric deficit should be. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. gonna make that I'm gonna send that video through the group and once we once we're done here so that you guys can watch that. Now it's about an hour or so long, but it's yeah. very like it's straight to the point. Yeah. In depth. Okay, Charlene remembers. <laughs> yes, yeah, straight to the point. So that's a tool that you guys can decide to pull out when you feel like you're ready for it. Or if you've been following it, but you kind of like lost all the information in your head, it's bringing it back to your memory. It's bringing it back to the forefront so you can turn it. And then for those of you who are just coming in, at least you guys will see that video and learn from it. So sounds good. Nikisha, I know you got your, your volume off, but I'm saying hi. Nikisha. 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 She not gonna respond. Like, she probably not even there. Nikki, get off the treadmill. You're making us all look bad. <laughs> that's one thing I wish I had in my house. The treadmill. Yeah, that's right. Hey, how's your feet feeling, Miss Vanessa? Um, I've been wearing this. Okay. Oh, compression socks? Yeah, to get me through my workouts and then. Um, should I send a link? Someone asked me too. Uh, should I send a link to where I got my treadmill from? It's manual, so it's harder. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you have, okay. It's, you can get it on Amazon, but if you are a person who is a Facebook, uh, what's it called? Facebook, they have Facebook market. There's a lot of different apps where they have garage sales and stuff, but it's virtual now where you can just go pick it up or somebody drop it off to you or you communicate with the person you want to purchase it from. That's where I actually got it from. But um, I know they have it on Amazon. Uh, I know they have it on eBay at a good price. So I'll send you guys the link, <laughs> at least to Amazon. So she's like, no, I do not want to get on that trip. <laughs> No, I can't be. I see your dog. You see this? Yeah. <laughs> He's sitting hey, there pretty. Come on, Jay. Or a bike. Those are your two <laughs> options. Oh, the bike, yeah. Yeah, the bike or, you know, a manual treadmill, unless you have uh, the Nikki treadmill. I mean, I <laughs> she don't work <laughs> She must have got the uh, automatic one. I prefer that one. And um, if you need something a little bit more, make you feel a little bit more challenged, uh, and you have a gym membership, try to Stairmaster. I know it's scary, but on that, 
That kills me. Listen. So number two. Oh my god. Number two. And for two. <laughs> Ten it's minutes. on number one. It's still a murderer. Ten minutes make me want to die, but I pushed myself to like 35. So are you crazy? I you put the speed on 35? No, no, no. I pushed myself to 35 minutes. What, what did you yeah, do? Yeah, I feel like, like you... 2.5. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like yeah, I'll go up to three two. and then I'll come back down to two, two point five. Oh, that's a good that's interval it. training. That's a good interval training. That yeah. that yeah. actually has the potential to help you lose body fat a lot faster too, guys. The stairmaster sucks. On, it's so on the one I have, it has a um, <laughs> it has a speed interval, so you run two minutes um, and then you walk two minutes. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, Can see. somebody put up the 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 hit um on the treadmill because huh. like I just want to know how Come long on. should you be do? on the treadmill. And what oh, that treadmill and what, head gonna, gonna hurt you because it's intensity. It, Say it's time I put it on like six point miles per hour or seven. Yeah, like what speed okay, okay. and how long? Like if it's for a minute or if it's so, for five, okay. ten minutes or Good whatever. Girl. Or a ten minute or something like that. Um yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But I guess it's like a twenty minute slot. If you can like jot down for each minute or each every two minutes like what do you go to or every three minutes what do you go to oh the the fastest you can go <laughs> <laughs> just no, whatever right. like what you've done like if, if someone has like 6.5 or 7.5 or whatever i've gone up to like 8.5 jogging that's that's jogging for you no running that's running but oh I'm saying, like, <laughs> jogging, jogging is like four point you said running at eight point eight. Yeah, running is my feet was in front. Yeah. So here's the basic. Whatever amount of time you're going to do it, you have a two to one or a one to one. So what I mean by that, say for example, ten minutes. One to one ratio is run for a minute, walk for a minute, or run for thirty seconds, walk for thirty seconds. Okay. When I say a two to one ratio, that means your rest period is longer than your work. So say one minute of jogging or sprinting, two minutes of walking. Your speed and intensity is based off you. Got it, got it. So that's the simplest way is do either a one to one or a two to one, meaning your rest period is longer than your, because you need to recover. So if you're doing a, a two to one and you're running for one minute and walking for two, or if it's 30 seconds and then one minute walk, you need to be all out intensity for that short period of time because you're going to need a longer rest. Period. So and cardio you also try to, doesn't um, matter what you use for cardio. That's the best way to do it is a one to one. And Charlene, put your incline too, like when you finish doing your interval training. Put it on 21, it's still gonna keep your, your heart rate up too. Yeah. Um, okay. Another example on a treadmill, just like uh, Vanessa says, and this is really good for endomorphs too, on an incline, the highest incline, and stay around 2.5 and 3. Yep. You will die. Yeah, that was that day that they thought I put water on my face. <laughs> yeah, you will that. And I mean, you have to do it for a longer period of time, at least 30 minutes. <laughs> at least 30 minutes. <laughs> But those are your three best options. If you don't want to do too much intensity or you're not able to do a lot of intensity, 30, 30 minutes, high incline between 2.5 and 3. Yeah, I kind of messed up my hip and that in turn mm -hmm. messed up my left knee. It's okay. swollen. Mm -hmm. So I've been trying to like walk it out and yeah, just yeah, trying to yeah. stick to the either the treadmill or the stairmaster because I was doing some squats with weights oh and i was doing some deadlifts and yeah the whole nother aspect <laughs> your body was yeah. like hey you ain't never worked this muscle i'm gonna have to stop you right quick yeah we, so i worked it before and i haven't been working it so Come on. it was like yeah what are you doing something you there stop right now <laughs> okay have you tried the elliptical yeah, but I don't really like the elliptical like that. I'd rather the treadmill or the stairmaster. I'd rather you guys be on the machine you like being on. <laughs> I like you. the elliptical. I just hate when I, my arm is going like this. I oh. hate that. 
See, I guess at my gym, they have like four different types of ellipticals. It's like four different types. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. They have the one that at last time we have the one that glides. There's a gliding one, mm-hmm. and then you have the other one that has like the long poles that that pull that you can yeah. pull. But I'd rather like the treadmill and the stairmaster make me use my own body. To yeah. 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 Push your phone. So that's why I'd rather do the treadmill and the stairmaster okay. because there's nothing really to hold on to unless like I'm holding on to the bars in front of me and I don't like doing that. Okay. Okay. So you got your two options. You got your hit and you got your it's called steady state, but it's actually just as much as fat burning as it is high intensity. Okay. Keep that in mind. So you're like, I can't I don't feel like sprinting. I don't even care if it's for 10 seconds. Just walk for 30 minutes on high incline. <laughs> okay. And okay. 2.53 is good. Okay. And you you go feel it. But and you're gonna feel accomplished after you're done. You are. Yeah, when I hit that 45 minutes on the on the on the treadmill. But once I get off, I'm like, I feel great. <laughs> and multitask when you feel like that's something you have to do, but it's kind of it's kind of uh causing an issue with other things because you guys do need to still keep up with time too. You got other life besides doing things like you're a bodybuilder. We're trying to change your lifestyle as far as keeping you healthy, not trying to be, unless that's what you want to do. Yes. The, um, multitask. YouTube, you can learn all kinds of stuff on YouTube. I know y'all probably doing what Nikki do. She doing her cardio and learning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep picking on her. Because <laughs> she's making me feel bad. <laughs> But yeah, like multitask, that's a good time for you guys to start taking in more knowledge and whatever it is you want to do. It don't even have to be fitness. It can be motivational speaking or anything, something um, that can bring more value to you personally. So I'm um, finishing up videos on that. So I'm a very busy person, but I'm just starting to get the hang of pulling the camera out. Like, I'm in the middle of me, like, well, I could actually record this. They're looking at me like, why aren't you recording this? So I'm like, oh, I'm because I'm busy trying to. So sometimes I'd be forgetting, like, I need to pull the camera out because I could be sharing this with people who are, like, probably doing the exact same thing. And they're trying to see how my lifestyle actually is like, oh, I do that. I didn't think to do it like me neither. So <laughs> that helps each other out. So, yeah, multitask. It, it still works. We can still do it. We're women. Hear us roar. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I guess that covers it. I think we're I good. Want, I want my full hour. You want? You are hilarious. You guys know you got questions. I'm, 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 I'm in here. I'm in here. I'm ready for the questions. What no, I'm just say? picking. I know everybody got to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, how, oh, that's a good question. How was everybody's Easter? I didn't touch I no did candy. Again. You what? You didn't touch no candy? Nope. I made pop mm-hmm. rolls, um, steamed broccoli, and red potatoes, and I barely touched the potatoes. <laughs> You barely touch. You doing that over? <laughs> <laughs> like my daughter just had a whole plate of red potatoes, and I was just looking at her like, mm. That's, I'm looking at you like you can't have it either. <laughs> she probably was being <laughs> But no candy. I ain't touch none. <laughs> we were supposed to discuss um, from the last meeting. We supposedly gotten a chance to. Oh, God, I sound so ghetto. I'm sorry. I'm from Detroit, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I'm like, yes. I'm like every Detroit. time I I'm like, where why am I? But we were supposed to, we were supposed to talk about me doing a a meet and greet or something. Ooh, and, where? Oh, yeah. I'm you in Atlanta. Yeah, like I have people or I think uh if well see I got family in Atlanta. Um, I got business in California. So well, I'll meet you in Cali because I've never been. Oh, if y'all go to Cali, I, I'm not coming. <laughs> you know, I'm not- Ooh, stop. <laughs> Ooh, stop. No, because I like to drive. Yeah, you like to drive. Oh. You would drive back to Detroit? 
Oh, you're in Virginia. I have I have family in DC. Oh, yep. No. I'm in I'm in Chester, Virginia, like 30 minutes from Richmond. Okay. I have family there too. Yep. My cousins moved there from Jamaica. Hmm. Hmm. I'm in um, Hampton, Virginia. So we can get on oh, for real. Who said that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I do. I have family in Virginia. Okay. Where are you from, Nikki? Tell us so we can get on your treadmill. <laughs> I'm in uh, Hampton, Virginia. Okay, Virginia. Okay, Virginia. We got a lot of Virginia. Virginia, California. Hmm. See, I have a lot of. Fa- I have way more family in Florida, which you guys know. My brothers, all my brothers <laughs> uh-huh. are here right now. Uh, my dad's in Fort Myers. My cousin's in Fort Lauderdale. My company is in Tampa, and then I have some other family in Miami. And what is it? Sarasota. Okay. Oh, Sarasota. Yeah. Huh. Where are you? Yeah, I've never been to Florida, but I, I could drive what about twelve hours? Never been to Florida. <laughs> you have to go to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where you at. Tell us where you at, Coco. You have to you remember me. <laughs> Coco looked like she about to go about running. To run. <laughs> 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 I to my shoes. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I, will, I need to remember. I think she. Why do I think she's in Atlanta? Atlanta too. Did she hear me? Go go. Go go. Tell us where you went. Go go. Y'all, I'm here. I was in my car. And I had to catch it. I'm like, okay, I'm just an honor, but I'm in Columbus, Georgia, y'all. And I'm yes. about a south of uh, Atlanta, southwest of Atlanta. Okay. So. You're in Columbus? Oh my I God. Am there. I could meet you. Where are you? I'm in Lawrenceville, though. Oh, you're in Lawrenceville. That's North Atlanta, North Georgia, right above um, Atlanta, Gwinnett uh-huh. County. Like yes, Atlanta. ma'am. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Latrice, you <laughs> I have to come home and then see you there. <laughs> yeah, maybe y'all can come y'all can come to Detroit and then we'll just do a road trip. <laughs> y'all, I can't come home. I got a property house there and it's gonna make me stop by the house. Is so it? I don't want to come to Detroit. Oh, oh well. I didn't know you were from Detroit. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, well, I can't y'all. Ladies, if y'all um finna take a road trip, somebody swing through Columbus and pick up Coco because I'm legally blind and can't drive a stick. <laughs> so if y'all finna take a road trip, somebody come get me because I want to go. <laughs> we <probably laughs> come to where y'all at. You shall leave. That's where we should come to. Y'all come on down. That's where we. That's where I was like, oh, maybe we should come out that way. <laughs> Did he tell you what happened? I got it. Everybody just meet in Vegas. Yeah, oh, there. I'm, I, I'm not a gambler. I'm. I lived there for five years. You know, like you could take in the sites. There's good hiking trails. There's yeah. lots of places to get huh? fine dining. That is. There you go. That too. And you can eat good because there's tons of places that they have that offer caloric deficit meals. Mm -hmm. Um, Whether you want to be on the strip, off the strip, uh, there's life outside of the strip. Yeah. I love Vegas. Come get in your bed. That might be, that might be, might be a thing. We're going to have to go see Coco. I'm only a couple of hours away from there. Bring her to Vegas with us. (laughs) <laughs> go, I'll go. I'll meet you in Atlanta at the airport. I'm on the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I think I still have a time share out there. Hey, uh-huh. no. I think I do. I think I do. Well, I one of my brothers, though, because it was under his. It was a yeah, because I I was in Vegas. It was for a pole, um, not a pole competition. It was a pole um, expo, and I was out there. And he had set it up for us to stay, hmm. with me and the girl. So he had it all set. So that might be an, that might be an idea. We can do an, a, re- a retreat, a, a, a health and fitness retreat. Hmm. What's, a, what's a good what's a good month? <laughs> hmm. 
it don't mm-hmm. take me no thing to plan something. <laughs> <laughs> plan something real quick. August. I was thinking that too. So what, not for you, Miss V. Uh uh-uh. uh. Is is your birthday in August? Mine is. No, mine's in January. Oh, that's right. Okay. Because it's just birthday. Capricorn. We got August. Well, we we can say August. Um, I just had to work some things out with my job. Okay, and then we also got September. Yeah, okay. worth that. Yeah. One of those. Okay, because I, I I need to get back with Kevin and find out about the timeshare and everything and set it up. Maybe we can mm-hmm. do a treat or something. Mm-hmm. Ah, that would be fun. That would be. Yes. <laughs> But only the people that's in this group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you on the group, group me out. That's where all of the <laughs> updates is gonna come at. So, okay. So yeah, that's. Let me let me look into that. So I need to send y'all that video. It's a video about the caloric deficit. Charlene, don't forget to send the pictures of <laughs> that the sweeteners. I'll send in some links about the treadmill. But you guys can get whatever treadmill you can fit in your house if you want one in your house. It's just do a little bit of shopping research. Facebook Marketplace is amazing. Yes. I found is. so much stuff. Say it again. Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace. If you have okay, okay. Facebook, it goes straight to your, you know. So, like, my Facebook page, it's, like, at the bottom. You'll see, like, a little, look like a little store, and it just, okay. you just can search whatever you, ooh, I want to buy that. Mmm. You okay. know what's another good, yeah. um, workout? <laughs> oh, wait, let me. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. So, on. Well, my gym is not as clean as uh, Nakia's, but. My gym? Oh, my gym. <laughs> Dang, you got some stuff, Miss B. I got everything there. You want to sell mm-hmm. it? Shoot. <laughs> if I was in not Virginia, it, I'd come stuff. to your house. Oh, yeah. They about to sell this. My, my, um, my dad um, moves pianos, so everybody gives him stuff free. So I'm walking on a free treadmill. <laughs> Somebody oh, gave it to me. <laughs> that's a blessing. Hell sure yeah. That's a blessing. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is nice. Mm-hmm. This is my home gym. Oh wow! Oh nice. Ah, yes, ma'am. That's bad. I didn't shop. Okay. You said you had the uh, marketplace. Me. I just started shopping somewhere, so I'll make sure that stuff gets in <laughs> <laughs> and see about this timeshare and what's going on. How we can create this retreat? I would love for it to be something focused where we all could. I guess learn from each other and build and grow as you know beautiful black women that we are so that's that's my goal um i want to let you guys know that this has been recorded and i'm actually going to put it on youtube but none of your faces will be shown it's only going to be voice because it's podcast style okay yeah it's so so people who missed it (laughs) or not in the group will know like hey need to get in the group because this is where we're helping each other stay consistent so we're being accountable to ourselves because we're helping each other out and that's the best way uh, I felt it should be done I, I just kind of felt that was the best way oh, I love, trust me guys <laughs> so alright I will let you guys go because I, I want to go eat that uh, I'm about to go get the veggies <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody about to go to the store and close it. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot. You don't have to post the meal too. prep. I know tomorrow, Sunday, is usually meal prep day. So if you're able to, post it. If it's just okay. meal, This is whatever. so good. Yeah. So you know. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, oh, here. I got a quick question. Uh, yeah. This is week two. Uh, the end of week two. Are we posting pictures to you? Yeah, April 30th. Oh, April 30th. Okay. Because yeah, that would be officially give you two weeks. That's 14 days. Well, yeah, okay. Days. What was that, Charlene, you were showing? Yeah. Uh, avocado mayo. Oh, yeah. yes. Huh. Avocado mayo. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, oh, yummy. Let me have avocado. So, yeah. <laughs> 30th. 
Uh, you'll send those to me. What I want you to pay attention to is where your body loses the weight. Where do you see the difference at? Charlene, this is the one I got. Yeah, that way when May 1st comes around, oh, crap. I'll show you how to play around with cars, but we'll get to that. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that. Okay. Okay. I just Thanks, ladies. Sure I know what I'm supposed to be posting. <laughs> All right, guys. If there isn't any more questions, we can hang it up, but um, I got my hour. You still got it. <laughs> 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 no. Yeah, so you guys can group me up. You got questions or anything, but tomorrow I'm probably going to be posting my meal prep because I need to get back on it. But if you're not a meal prep person, don't go nuts. Just post what you eat that day. It helps because we see what each other's eating. And we never know, like, hey, I can, I can eat that. I, I want to eat that. So, gives you ideas. All right, guys. Bye. Hey, Bye, guys. Thank you. Keep my phone going because I'm nosy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next. Oh, sorry. You got one minute. Next Saturday? Are we still? Are we? No, not next Saturday. It's gonna have to be when is Mother's Day? The 10th? The 12th. The 12th. Yeah, the 12th. It's the 12th, right? So yeah. the 11th. Is that okay for everybody? Yeah. Yeah. I know this coming Saturday. I, I, I'm gonna be in Chicago. Mm. Oh, that's my nick of town. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> in Chicago. That's in the, the woods. Catch me on in the group and let's, know, let's find a way to meet up. The 11th might be, maybe 11th might be a good day for all of us to do another one. And we'll focus on something concerning um, the no sugar, no carbs, carbs by your body. On, get in here. Responded to. Because, yeah, that would be the okay. after. It sure would. You, at 2 o'clock, right? Um, yeah, next, I want to try to keep the same timing so we're not always guessing. Okay, that's fine, great. I, I may be a little late for that too. I gotta. I'm supposed to speak at this um su low vision support group, but okay. uh, I should be finished by then. that will be a good time. Okay. okay. Then cool. Sounds good. Everybody's good. Yes, yes. Thank you. That Thank you. How long you've been on there? You've been on there a whole hour. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Nikki. You go, girl. Don't listen to me. I'm supposed to encourage you. I'm the coach, and I'm telling you to get off the track. <laughs> <laughs> that means you need to get your cardio in the day, then, huh? <laughs> yeah, I do. I have to get it in. No, Nikki got two good feet. <laughs> you can get it in when you running down that aisle getting them tots. Yeah. Oh, yes. All right. Bye, guys. And I'm going to take you on. Bye. Bye. I'll see you guys. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> So with all that said, if you are a part of the 30 day challenge or you are putting yourself in this challenge and you didn't send me pictures, that's totally fine. Um, you can be able to do that. It'll be officially two weeks, 15 days for most of us. Um, so April 30th is the day that uh, you will be turning in pictures to me. So you'll look down below, link down below this video, and you will um, see what number you need to send your pictures to, or you probably already have the number saved if you sent your pictures to me. And that would be April the 30th is the day that they're due. And what I want you to do is look at your pictures from the first time you sent them to me till the date of April 30th, and I want you to pay attention to where you lose your body fat at. Where do you lose it first? Because this would help me to be able to, uh, well, it won't help, I can't say it won't help me. It will help you to understand why I'm coaching in the next step. The next step is for you to get your body to respond the way you want it to. If you know exactly how it responds, where you lose body fat at first, you will be able to know what you should do for you personally to get that slow responding body part to lose 
excess body fat. So remember, our goal is to change the way our body looks because that's usually what our issue is. It's not the scale, it's not the number on the scale. So I'm still at 174. Um, I know it has everything to do with the way that I'm training. Uh, I know my diet isn't always, you know, 100% clean, but I try to keep it in that 90, 10% range um, and I think that's a good number for me. You have to find out what works for you as far as your diet and if you've already found that during this period of time, this two weeks, these 15 days, stick to it because I'm going to be um, going into the whole challenge May 1st of no carbs, no sugar, no carbs. So you can see how your body responds to that and then that's a tool that you can kind of pull out when you need it. So that will be the next training aspect that we'll be going through. So April 30th, pictures are due. Look down below for more information on that. I want you to focus on what you see has lost inches or weight or where you see you've toned up at. That way you'll know where your body responds the quickest. And then that way you'll understand when I start coaching you on how to get those slow responding areas to respond faster you'll know exactly what to do for your particular body type because everybody is predisposed to lose, you know, excess body fat in different areas. So you lose them faster. Like I mentioned before, I lose this way. So it shows in my face, legs, and I, you know, lean out from there. And then my waist sometimes is the last to, to go. And that's for most people. But um, I do tend to I uh, lose my love handles a lot quicker than I guess the extension of my belly from side to side So yeah, those are things that I notice when it comes to my body I want you to do the exact same thing. That's why we're taking pictures It helps me when I see those pictures and what direction I want to go and how I train and talk about this and teach you and help you um, so that it's simplified based off the three body types because it's the simplest way for me to, you know, get the information across to you so you'll understand it for yourself. So now you have the tools that you need to pull out when you need them so that you can continue this as a lifestyle. So other than that, check down below for more information. You got any questions, comments, uh, something you want to suggest, anything, please leave them down below. Um, I'll get to them. Trust me, I'm going to try my best. You guys know I'm very busy, but please leave them down below. Make sure you subscribe and also join the group if you're not a part of the group. That's where you're going to get the motivation and it helps you with consistency because you're accountable. You, you feel accountable. <laughs> you do. And it's awesome group of women. I want everybody to be encouraged. So if this is something that you're looking for to help you out, please join the group down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.